there and welcome to Connecticut Style. I'm Teresa LaBarbera. Thanks for making us part of your day. Coming up, from baseball diamonds to soccer fields, each year millions of children play their favorite sports, but how much is too much? Connecticut orthopedic specialist talks about keeping your young athlete injury free this season. And I recently spoke to Beth Greer, the author of Supernatural Home. She'll share tips on how to improve your health at home one room at a time. And I'm here with holistic health coach and raw cooking instructor Tamara Petro. Hi there. Hi. Welcome to the show. This is the first time we're having you here. Yes, thank you so much. So we're going to learn about raw food, raw eating. What does that yep. mean exactly? Um, well, raw food, there's a variety of what constitutes raw food. Essentially, it's something that's either not cooked in its purely natural state, so something that grew off a bush, a tree, a farm, um, and it also constitutes some foods that are either lightly heated okay. um, at low temperatures or even dehydrated. So there's a huge variety. And actually what I'm going to present is a raw vegan dish. Okay. So there's no animal products as well because there's a variety of raw foodists and some will go as far as to eat raw animal products. Um, so it. there's nothing. Well, what is here. this? What are we making? We are having noodles actually made with sweet potatoes. Okay. And there's a tomato sauce for the pasta that actually has basil, Olives and pinoli nuts. Oh, it smells lovely. Lots of fresh herbs and seasonings. Very good, Tara. I can't wait Great. to hear all about it, but let's start the show. Look right into camera Excellent. two. Tell everyone what they need to do. Great. Well, sit back and relax. You're having lunch with style. When a person is injured on the job or is involved in an accident, they may need legal representation. The insurance company employs adjusters and lawyers to protect them. You need someone to protect you and your family as well. When you hire Jonathan Perkins Injury Lawyers, your consultation with us is free, and if you need our services, there's no fee unless we recover for you. It is our goal to level the playing field for all consumers. Jonathan Perkins Injury Lawyers, get the power of Perkins. What can you do with original duck brand duct tape? Maybe the better question is, what can't you do? Got almost anything to do? Get the duck to do it. Now get duct tape featuring your NFL team. soccer millions of children participate in their favorite sports and while there are lots of benefits there are lots of dangers too joining me now is dr jeffrey clouser from connecticut orthopedic specialist in shelton doctor welcome to connecticut style thanks for having me first we have to talk a little bit about your background because this is pretty interesting we know that it's in shelton but you mm -hmm. were also an all-conference high school student in shelton i was i was i uh i played back in the day uh, i think playing football gave me a real appreciation for sports in general and you know, I fell in love with sports, and I wanted to c continue that into my career, and that's what led me to eventually pursue a career in orthopedic surgery. All right, and you went down to Florida. You did some uh, top-notch training. Yeah, I worked with Dr. James Andrews, so if you're an ESPN fan or a big sports uh, nut, you'll, you'll probably r recognize his name. He, you know, we got to operate on a lot of the big-name athletes, you know, some of the professional football players, the baseball players, and, you know, it's there that I really learned uh, the importance in, in injury prevention. You know, we see a lot of players that, while they can make it and, and become professional athletes, we see a lot of kids that don't quite make it. And, you know, they, they keep playing these year-round sports and, and they're trying their best and sometimes they end, end up injured. And that's where that came into, into play with Dr. Andrews. Okay, let's talk about Connecticut orthopedic specialists. You're all over the place. You have, a lot, you have eight different offices. Correct. Um, there's physical therapy locations, walk-in centers, two MRI centers, and there's your own surgical center. Correct, and we just opened up a new office in Shelton, Connecticut. So. Uh, I'm going to be heading that up, and uh, I'm very happy to be able to bring my training back to my community. The largest orthopedic provider in Southern Connecticut. That is correct. Pretty cool. All right, let's get to these, uh, the injuries that we're talking about today. Some of the real dangers with youth, youth sports. Yeah, you know, we see about 30 to 45 million kids playing sports across the United States. And healthcare insurance companies spend about $2.5 billion a year in injuries in youth sports. And it's thought that about 30 to 50 percent of those injuries are a result of overuse. Okay, let's put a chart up because this was kind of interesting. We're going to look at okay. the highest risk of injuries. Now, I would think football because it's such a contact sport, but not the case. Yeah, you know, it makes sense. You think that the normal cast of characters, football, soccer, you know, a lot of these 
high energy, high impact sports, you'll see a lot of injuries. But believe it or not, the highest percentage of injuries is in female cross country. Okay. I think that's because they, they tend to be running long distances. They're you know doing 80 miles a week, and some of that stuff is just too much for these kids. Mm -hmm. Now, you, you will see the football injuries, but also soccer. You see that a lot of kids are playing year-round these days. So if you're playing one season, you may get away with you know having a few injuries here and there. But when kids are playing year-round on multiple teams, you know, don't really have an off season, that's when you tend to see the most injuries. So some of the ways to prevent these injuries, I guess, uh, take a season off, could that take, be? Take a season off. You know, uh, the, the sports specialization where a kid plays one sport year round is something that we used to not see very often. Now what we do is we recommend kids don't specialize until about their senior year in high school. Okay, and uh, what, the injury happens, mm -hmm. how do you react as a parent? What do you do? Well, as a parent, you have to stay calm. Let the, <laughs> professional, <Number one. laughs> let the professionals do their job. A lot of times on football games, we have EMTs on the sidelines. Let them do their job. However, not every sport, you know, a lot of times soccer, cross country, basketball, we don't necessarily have a professional on the sideline. So you want to get that person into the emergency room if need be. Mm -hmm. And if it's not really a serious injury, get them in to see an orthopedic surgeon where we can evaluate them, treat them, and get them back on the field as soon as possible. All right, let's switch it up a little bit. We're talking about older professional athletes now. Mm -hmm. What are some of the common injuries uh, that you're seeing and how it could be avoided? Most of the injuries in older athletes tend to be overuse injuries. Okay. So what we call our veteran athletes, 60 years and up, uh, they tend to have their, their overuse injuries if they're pushing it too hard, too long, and we tell them to use their pain as a guide. If they feel pain, if they go on a, a five-mile run and they really feel that, back off a little bit. We tend to see in golfers, we see rotator cuff tendonitis, we see golfer's elbow or medial epicondylitis. Basically, it's a strain on the tendons on the inside of the elbow. Can you get the golfers to stop, though? That uh, that's, you know, <laughs> it, a lot of the golf, golf nuts, you're going to have a tough time pulling them off the field right. or off the course. Luckily, we got the winter around here in Connecticut uh, to make point. them rest. All right, uh, now we're going to switch it up, arthritis. This is seen in older patients, I'm assuming? Correct, yeah. Um, sports at a young age is, is good for athletes. Sometimes, however, they can get injured, requiring surgery at a young age, and that predisposes them to arthritis down the line. In addition, if they're a little bit too aggressive as they get into their older years, that causes a, a constant traumatic impact, high forces across the weight-bearing joints like the hips and the knees. That causes microtrauma to the cartilage. Over time, that results in osteoarthritis. Okay. Uh, now you guys are offering a Saturday morning clinic. Tell me the details. We are. Our, uh, we're, we're very proud to offer to the public 9 to 11 a.m. on Saturday mornings. It's going to be an injury clinic. Basically, any of our players that get injured on Friday night can come in, oh, wow. see us, be evaluated the very next day. So that way we can get their x-rays done. They'll see an orthopedic surgeon, and we can get them back on the field as soon as possible. Great. It's also going to be open to the public. It's not just our young athletes. It's also open to anybody that may get hurt the day before. Got it. And do you need an appointment or just walk right in? We walk right in. We're wide open for you, and we're very happy to offer that to the community. Very good. All right, let's put some information up on the screen to find out more about the Connecticut Orthopedic Specialist in Shelton. Call 203-538-0022 or visit ct-ortho.com. Dr. Clauser, thanks for being here. Congratulations on the new office. Thank you very much for having me. Appreciate it. All right, coming up next, raw foods for the fall. Tamara Petro shares a delicious recipe after the break. Don't go anywhere. You have no idea how bad things can really get after a car crash, but we do. Don't get hurt twice. Put the winning tradition of Trantolo and Trantolo on your side and get the settlement you deserve. This is the opposite of subliminal advertising. There's no subtext, just tacos. Yeah, it's our job to make you want it. But honestly, it's not that hard. Old El Paso, when you gotta have Mexican. With over 50 delicious choices of green giant vegetables, it's easy to eat like a giant. And feel like a green giant. Ho, ho, ho. Green giant. Watch our special Firehouse Fridays on Connecticut Style, where local firefighters create their favorite dishes and tell you how you can support the Connecticut Burn Center at Bridgeport Hospital. I've been involved with the Burn Center for 22 years, and I've seen how important it is to our state. Thank you for your donations. Eating raw isn't only about eating a more plant-based diet. For lots of people, it's a way of life. Tamara Petro is a holistic health coach and raw cooking instructor, and she joins me now. Nice to have you here on the show. I feel like we're going to learn a lot today. You will. Uh, so this is a healthier way of eating. Most definitely. Most definitely. Um, it's considered very light, very clean. A lot of the ingredients that I have here are actually anti-inflammatory. 
Um, unless someone had a, a reaction to nuts per se, they, they could actually leave this out. But in general, it's good for people with intolerances, people that are gluten sensitive mm -hmm. um, and that have some food allergies. There's no dairy. So it um, right covers earth, a lot of bases. It? Yes. Yeah, All right, very good. And what are we going to make today? We have a dish. It is a pasta dish, mm -hmm. but instead of using wheat or egg noodles, we are using a sweet potato. And then we have a tomato sauce that we'll make with sun-dried tomatoes to give it a deeper sort of a cooked flavor. Okay. Because remember, we're not cooking. Because tell us why we don't want to cook, uh, overcook. The, the idea with raw foods is that um, they are either not cooked at all, mm -hmm. as I said, or lightly heated if you want that warm sort of feeling. Um, when you cook foods, usually there's a lot of vitamins, minerals, phytochemicals, mm -hmm. enzymes in foods. When you cook them, things like minerals are hard to destroy, so okay. they usually are mostly there. Um, but when you cook foods, you're changing the chemical structures. A lot of vitamins and enzymes are lost. Okay. And those are the things that when we eat, we're eating for nutrition. We're eating. And we're losing all that, we're then, right? We're losing a lot. Okay. Yes, yeah. So um, by not cooking the food, you're maintaining those things. And because a lot of raw foods are clean, they're natural, they're not highly processed, mm -hmm. your body can break them down easily, digest them easily, you have more energy, and yeah, you're spending like less time digesting food. So it's an incredible way well, to But let me to ask you, Trina, does it taste good? Absolutely good. <laughs> <laughs> I went All right, let's give it a shot then. <laughs> Excellent. How do we make these sweet potato noodles? Noodles? Yeah. I can start you with that and then we'll move on to the sauce. Okay, very good. Um, this is an organic sweet potato. And first of all, um, all of the ingredients here are organic. And so therefore, we don't need to peel them oh. because there's no pesticides, wax, fungicides, That's or anything like that on the outside of the potato. So we're going to cut off the ends because we want to make it easy to fit into our little machine here. Okay. What made you decide to do this? Um, I actually haven't, um, it's sort of a long story, but I'll sum it up. Okay. I, um, around my 40th birthday, realized I felt horrible. And I'd been to the doctor too many times that year and for too many things and sort of had an epiphany that I needed to really clean up my diet. Okay. And therefore, I decided to do something that I had dabbled in for about seven years, which was being vegetarian. And I had caught on to this thing called raw foods. And when I ate raw foods, I felt great. But usually what happened was then I would go home, have my regular meal and you end up feeling feel the again. same way. Yeah. Um, but I have to say, since going raw, I've had my first doctor visit and had a great Clean bill of health, That's blood fantastic. tests, okay. blood work, and all that stuff. Um, would you like to try this out? Sure. I, what is this okay. contraption? This <laughs> is a World Cuisine Tri-Blade Spiralizer. <laughs> I know, it sounds like a big thing. Okay. AKA my vegetable guillotine. So um, I'm twisting? Um, you're going to actually squeeze this. If you can, I can do it for you. Okay. Let me push this, and you're going to turn it. And what comes out oh, should be that. noodles. And there's three different size blades. You can have skinny noodles. These are a little bit larger. This is really easy. Isn't that fun? Yeah, I didn't know how we were going to do this. There's actually another adapter on there to make chips. If you were wanting to make apple chips or something to make dehydrated snacks, which are really fun for kids. Look at that. Look at all the animals I just made. I love this. Probably <laughs> even more than we want. And I have brought kitchen scissors okay. because we can cut them. So if you'd like to spoon those onto the plate. My hands are clean. I that'd be great. Over there. Yep. And the reason we can leave the skin on is because a lot of vegetables, the fiber and a lot of vitamins are either in the skin itself or right underneath the skin. Okay. And when we remove that, we're removing more nutrition. And um, in my opinion, as a health coach, it's the only reason I eat is for nutrition. I'm Makes not sense. eating for any other reason, so why lose that? Sometimes I eat because it's fun. Is that bad? <laughs> not at all. And actually, Sometimes a lot I'm of us stressed. eat for emotion, <laughs> stress, fun. But mainly, you're eating to nourish your body. And as I tell children, you mm -hmm. want to put gas in your car every day. Good point. OK. Yep. So um, we'll leave that there right now. And if you'd like to sort of tenderize it a little sure, bit. Sure, olive oil. A little extra virgin olive oil. And that's organic as well. High quality oil is great. A lot of people are afraid to use oil because they're afraid of the fat. But it's a good fat, You want right? good fats. Fat? Your heart needs good fats. Your skin needs good fats. Salt? Um, this is a little salt. It's pink. It's a grinder. Yep. This is um, Himalayan pink salt. Salt that is pink or gray is good. It's not been stripped of minerals, and okay. your body likes it. There's a lot of good qualities to that salt. And once I started using that salt, I could not go back to regular oh, table salt. I'll have to salt. give it a shot. Okay. It's excellent. And over here, while that's sitting, um, we're going to start the sauce. So I've chopped up some organic tomatoes, and we're going to add these to the Cuisinart. All right. Okay. And over there in a bowl, what I've done is soaked some sun-dried tomatoes. Yes, you have. For about 20 minutes. 
Yeah, oh, those are great. And what that does is it not only gives it more flavor, but because we're not actually cooking the sauce, mm -hmm. it gives it sort of a depth, almost like a smoky flavor it. to it, okay. even though they've not been cooked. So we're actually going to use the tomatoes that we've soaked. And if, let's say, you wanted the sauce warm, mm -hmm. um, there will, will be a recipe that people can access. And there's some options that people could warm the sauce a little bit. Okay. And they could actually save the cooking water, I mean, I'm sorry, the soaking water and add it. Because if they did warm the sauce, sometimes it evaporates some moisture. It makes it a little thicker. I and see. if they wanted to make it thinner, they could add the sauce. Okay, we have about 45 seconds left. Okay, so great. we're going to make the sauce. Yep. So we're going to crush our garlic. And I use lots of garlic, so whoever eats with me has to be <laughs> eating garlic Just with me. the vampires away, no big yes. deal. And these are herbs from my garden. I've got parsley, sage, basil. And we're going to just hit the cleaner, blend it up. And that's it, huh? Very easy. easy. And add some salt. And at the end, mm -hmm. sorry, at the end we will top it off with some pignoli nuts, pine nuts. Okay. And some olives. I brought raw olives that have not been processed, pasteurized, heated. Do they heated. taste the same? You can try them. I think the they're shot. fantastic. And they have only have salt and oh, water added. Delightful. Very good. Excellent. And these are regular conventional olives if people chose to have that. Also, I can add paprika. And if I like, I can add some cayenne pepper, black pepper, or any other seasonings that I'd like. Very good. Of course, all the recipe on WTNH.com. And we'll try this at the end of the show. Excellent. All right. Thank you, Tamara. And up next, we recently caught up with Beth Greer, the author of Supernatural Home. We'll share that interview after the break. Don't go anywhere. My goals as a teacher um, are to inspire my children to be the best they can be and understand that there's no limits. One of the most rewarding moments I've had is when one of the children looked at me and was becoming overwhelmed with something. I said, relax, I love you, and I'm going to help you through it. And it, he turned so quickly to me, he's like, you love me? I said, I love you, and I'm going to help you do the, be the best you can be. And that was a special moment. Today, you might be missing out with satellite and slow DSL. But tomorrow, you could turn your living room into a multiplex. With Xfinity On Demand, you get thousands of TV shows, movies, and more. 90% are free. And with Xfinity Internet, you can stream them anytime and anywhere. Satellite and slow DSL have nothing like this. Call 1-877-342-0135 and switch to Xfinity TV, Internet, and Voice for $29.99 each a month for 12 months when you bundle all three. Xfinity Internet gives you the fastest in-home Wi-Fi, so everyone in your house can do more of what they love online, on any device, all at the same time. So switch to Xfinity TV, Internet, and Voice from Comcast for $29.99 each a month for 12 months and get stream picks included. Or ask how you can lock in your rate for two years and double your internet speed at no extra cost. Tomorrow could be awesome if you call today. So call 1-877-342-0135. That's 1-877-342-0135. Xfinity, the future of awesome. or a new apartment, it can be shocking to realize just how many hidden toxins are around us. Her new book, Supernatural Home, Beth Greer talks about dangers and what you could do to improve your health, home, and the planet one room at a time. Beth is an award-winning journalist and holistic health advocate and joins me now on the show. Beth, thank you for being here. Great to be here. Uh, this is very surprising stuff. Everyday items that you don't necessarily think would be hazardous to your health. That's true. You know, uh, people shop every day and and most people in my research i found that most people are clueless about mm -hmm. what's going on in their in their products that can cause allergies asthma fatigue mm -hmm. all kinds of other health problems and how did you get started in this well about 10 years ago i was diagnosed with a giant tumor in my chest that i that would do it yeah <laughs> that would but change your life i eliminated it without drugs or surgery by just changing my lifestyle i made small but radical lifestyle shifts. Really? And I'm going to show you now um, s how to read labels, just to look and see how to stay healthy and keep your yes, family healthy. Yes, let's get and right to it. Okay, so bread. Um, most people, you know, you see the bread trucks coming every day delivering fresh bread, and you think, well, maybe um, it should have a shelf life of what? What would you a say? A week max, maybe? Right. I don't know. Well, I would assume it would get moldy. What would I? What would you say if I told you this bread was two months old? <laughs> I'd be looking right. for the mold on yes, it, right? Yes, right. No, and so it has something called calcium propionate in it. And um, this is a preservative, an additive. And so when they've given this to laboratory animals, they cause ADHD behavior. Oh, wow. So You don't want to be giving that to your kids, though? Not at all, no. 
Now here's a cereal that we give to our kids very often, marshmallow. Now if you look at the ingredient label, it's marshmallow is the number one ingredient, which is not great. Must be healthy for the little ones. Right. But it also has five different synthetic colors in here. And coloring, artificial colors are banned in Europe, but they're sold here in America. They're okay. banned there because they cause um, behavioral problems. We so, haven't gotten on that bandwagon yet? Not, not? at all. Okay. No. So, so it's, you have to do your own research. Yes. Read the label. Look for, look for uh, cereals without any colorings or preservatives or additives. Okay. So now um, this is what goes in us. So what goes on us now we have to pay attention to. And so deodorant would be, you know. That's uh, important. <laughs> right? <laughs> right. Okay. So this is a particularly popular deodorant. It's the one I grew up with. If you look at the label, there's just one ingredient on it. Yes. But then, you know, really sneaky that if you peel it back, there are all the other ingredients in here, including the word fragrance. Okay. And manufacturers, it's a catch word. Manufacturers use the word fragrance. It can contain up to 100 different synthetic chemicals. Wow, how misleading that is. Right? So what I do, which is really great, is just take a plain old baking soda. Okay. And I put it in a salt shaker, and I just sprinkle it. Well, you smell lovely, Beth, so it seems to be working. Right. When I travel, I just use it in a little glass jar. Okay. It's great. What were some of the biggest changes you made when you were diagnosed? Well, I did, I looked at first at my food, because that's the most important thing, mm -hmm. and the most thing that we have control over. So I did something pretty radical, and I ate food without any labels whatsoever. Really? So yes. vegetables and Vegetables, type of thing. fruits, right. Lots of vegetable juices. How and I noticed that within just the three days, the pain that I was in, starting to go away and I knew I was on the right track. Wow, so then yes. you've kind of uh, moved on to inside your house now, right? Right. So inside our house, a very popular household cleaner, uh, disinfectant, but if you look on the back label it says precautionary statements, hazards to humans and domestic animals. Oh. So why would we, you know, we're going to be breathing this in sure. and uh, spraying it on countertops, our children are going to be licking it. So what I do, which is really easy and simple, is I fill up two spray cans one with vinegar, white vinegar, and one with hydrogen peroxide. And it still gets the job done? 99.9% .9 um, E. coli, salmonella, bacteria, just like that. And you can add a little lemon essential oil, mm -hmm. and it's fantastic. It Very good, and it's much great. healthier. Much healthier, non-toxic, right. And finally, uh, a lot of people love to use scented candles mm -hmm. for their rooms, but, you know, again, pay attention. Look at these labels. It'll say peel here, and then when you peel it back, lists all kinds of precautionary statements and it's got tons of, of synthetic chemicals. And you're breathing in. that in. Absolutely. Okay. And so what's lovely, you know, to look for is um, this is just called love and it's rose and jasmine and it's made from 100% essential oils. It's very relaxing. Oh, nice? it even smells better. Yeah. Than and at the farmer's great. market you can find, I find some wonderful beeswax candles that burn really beautifully and non-toxic again. Very nice. Good yeah. suggestions. Um, and I want to talk about something you say in the book. You call it a body burden. Yes. Why do you explain that to us? Well, because all of these chemicals add up, and they create a burden in our bodies, and it's hard on the liver. Okay. And so we're walking around with all these chemicals, and it's so easy. And in my book, Supernatural Home, I give you simple suggestions on ways to eliminate our body burden and just show you the best products to use for your what goes in us, what sure. goes on us, and surrounds us. Now, we didn't talk about chapstick, but we probably should because there are many chapstick addicts out there. That's true. And so if you look at your chapstick, um, you'll see very often it'll, it'll have parabens in it. Now, parabens are preservatives that they add to this, and they've been found in actually breast cancer tumors. So you don't want to be smothering that on your lips. Absolutely <laughs> not. It's not a good idea. So look for an all-natural one. You know, this one has 100% organic um, beeswax and lavender oil and um, olive oil. And it smells great. It works just as well. And non-toxic. Isn't that nice? Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. You said the parabens were found in breast cancer itself. Tumor. In tumors. In tumors, yes. So, so there, a lot of the companies are trying to um, do away with parabens. But um, <clears throat> so you could still find them. You can still find them. And you want to avoid them. It, absolutely. All right, Beth, let me ask you, where can we find yeah. your book? Okay, you can find it on my website, Supernatural Home or BethGreer.com. Um, it's on Amazon as well. And you can open it up anywhere and, and find tips, you know, for the bedroom. I go room by room, what to do in the kitchen, the bedroom. So a lot of people just don't know where to get started. So I have to say, I was flipping through it this morning, not to cut you off, but lipstick. That was so surprising. Uh, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Lipstick contains lead very often. So it's so important to look for natural 
natural products, natural lipsticks. Okay. And, you know, pick one thing. Mm -hmm. If you feel kind of overwhelmed by all this stuff, pick one thing. Pick a lipstick. Pick yeah. your toothpaste or pick a deodorant to start, start with. Start gradually. Start gradually. Start with uh, an organic milk, for example, because that contains so many um, growth hormones and mm -hmm. pesticides. So, Very good. Yeah. Beth, mm -hmm. thank you so much. The name of the book again is? is Supernatural Home. All right. There it is. We'll find it. Thanks okay. so much for thank being you. here. Don't go anywhere. More Connecticut style after the break. We'll be right back. I spent a fortune on my old dentures. They didn't look natural, and they didn't fit right from day one. Look, whether people are looking at your teeth or not, you feel like they are. It was embarrassing. Aspen Dental gave me my smile back. They're absolutely beautiful. You could tell the difference as soon as they finished. When I got those dentures, I felt like me again. Right now, get 20% off general dentistry services and select denture styles with payments as low as $25 per month. Call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL. Car wreck, get Carter. I'm fired up about medical bills. Think you're hurting now? Just wait till the bills are due. The wreck wasn't even your fault. So why should the bills be your problem? Call me. We know how to get your medical bills paid, even if you don't have health insurance. No insurance, no problem. Car wreck, get Carter. Call 1-800-900-6700. Get fired up. Chris Murphy attacks Linda on Social Security and Medicare. But Murphy didn't tell us the truth about when he was sued in court for not paying his rent, sued for not paying his mortgage, or missing nearly 80% of his committee hearings. So do you think Murphy is telling the truth now? Two facts. On March 21st, 2010, Murphy voted to cut Medicare by $716 billion. And Linda McMahon has pledged no cuts to Medicare or Social Security. I'm Linda McMahon, and I approve this message. You can enter to win four tickets to Aquasi Amusement Park for the weekend of September 22nd and 23rd. Go to ConnecticutStyle.tv. There will be hundreds of winners, so definitely give it a shot. All right, we are back here in the kitchen with Tamara. We're going to try your sweet potato tomato noodle sauce. Mm -hmm. And pasta. Very good. Doctor, are you uh, going to give us a shot? Are you going to try it? Oh, I am. I'm usually a hamburger guy, but I'll give it a shot. <laughs> All right, tell us one more time your website and how people can get a hold of you. Uh, real quick, a good resource for parents, players, and coaches is www.stopsportsinjuries.org. And our website, again, is www.ct-ortho.com. All right, and Tamara, you're a health coach and cooking classes. Real yes. quick, your website? www.therenaissance.com. And that's <laughs> R-A-W-N-A-I-S-S-A-N-C-E. All right, very good. Thank, well, you. thank you both for being here, but most of all, thank you all for watching. Make it a great day. We'll see you back here tomorrow. I'm going to dig in and try this. Awesome. Thank you.